Up our way, in the dismal and dreary Aleutian Islands, off Alaska, it was a different sort of war. Around us was the deep, spongy tundra of dead grass and muck. Over us, fog, sleet, and rain for days on end. In spite of it, our 11th Air Force under General Bruce Butler not only protected Alaska from Jap advance, but also struck offensive blows at the enemy. We had a single fighter group of 100 planes, including P-38s. Our force was built around a handful of pilots experienced in Alaskan flying. Colonel Jack Chenault, son of the 14th Air Force commander, led a fighter squadron. Our strength at this time for the entire Alaska Aleutian area was only 226 operational planes. Luck was with us. On 8 April, the weather cleared and we set out to crush the nip thrust at Atu, most distant of the island chain. We also helped the box in Kiska, the second enemy held island, forcing the Japanese to withdraw. From flooded fields, we waded into the enemy. Our small air force was guarding the northern approach to America. <laughs> <laughs> 